I was reading a story to my advanced writer's workshop by one James Lear, junior lit major and sole inhabitant of his own gloomy gulag. She bit the flesh of her lip, closed her eyes, mute. James's stories were about as sunny as his disposition. He didn't give his name. Who? The guy on the phone. Well, what do you want? He wanted to know if a Grady trip lived here and drove a dark maroon 1966 Ford Galaxy 500 with black interior. Well, what'd you tell him? Yes. Oh, good, James. Well, I just thought maybe you'd... Good morning, boys. Good morning, James. Good morning. Sure. Professor Tripp? Hmm? How did I get here last night? No one knows where you live, James. Hannah thought you'd like my couch. And before that, did I do anything? I mean, did I do anything bad? Well, James, you did shoot the head of the English department's dog and steal his most prized piece of memorabilia. Is he awake? There's a police officer on the porch and he's not going away. That same guy? Same one. No offense, Professor Tripp, but you look sort of crappy. He's right. I mean, you do look horrible. It's the Chancellor. We're fine. We're just fine. Fine, right. If it is a fucking fiddle. James, come on. Uh, James, this book of yours? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to publish this. I think with the proper editorial guidance, this could be brilliant. Oh, that's great. That's great. Between Officer Pub Chick and you, he can be the next Jean Genet. Mm -hmm. Been a long time since somebody wrote a really good book in jail.